There was an interesting connection between the market and the Hollywoodites. Then, uh, apparently, a lot of the people in the industry lived in Hollywood. And um, in the circle near the market, there were a lot of residents, a lot of people in the industry that would come in as regular customers. Um, I remember Virginia Mayo used to live with her mother in an apartment house called the Castle, which was on, which is still there on Franklin, and she would come into the market. There was a movie uh, with, called Cover Girl that I think had I'm not sure if it had Rita Hayworth or somebody in it, but it was a it was a first, you know top movie at the time, and I remember that. I had seen pictures of one of the starlets that was in CoverGirl that was in the produce section with my father with an apron that had patches hand sewn by my mother probably to fix. I mean, you know, my mother must have been saying, oh my God. And my father was handing her a squash and, and to advertise and she's holding a hat box that says CoverGirl. So, um, I think geographically the market was close enough to some of the studios, Paramount and Republic, and some of the studios that were sort of in the proximity of the market, that they had people that were working in the film industry that would come into the market for various things. But um, there was a lot going on. There was a lot going on.